Okay, so uh, so Stan and Ollie doesn't waste Steve Coogan or John C. Riley as uh, as Laurel and Hardy. It actually uses them well in this biopic that kind of balances um, both like kind of like the both the kind of like sweet and cute nature of the of the duo that have a great comedy set here, uh, but also kind of also showcases the drama and the hardship that they go through. And I, I think it, I think what makes this a great balance is that most of the film takes place in the twilight years of Laurel and Hardy. So this is like after like kind of like their golden era. In fact, the movie actually kind of begins when you kind of see that golden era of them kind of like take a downturn. Like we start off with them fairly young when, you know, they're kind of huge rising stars and they kind of want to renegotiate contracts and they might, and they kind of split ways. And we catch up with them years later in the 1950s where they're, uh, where they're kind of like a, they're kind of like a struggling comedy act now. They're they're no longer the huge acting legends they used to be. They're kind of really only admired by the the older audiences. Used to see them, you know, when when they were younger, when they were kids. Um, so they're they're still revered celebrities, but they're very they're very hard on money. Uh, but they they keep doing the comedy tour because that's frankly all they want to do. Uh, they also want to make their own movie. They want to make a they want to make a Robin Hood movie starring the starring the two of them. Um, and they're, they're so committed to this that they're, they're willing to do it for little money. And in some cases, no money because they're, that's all they want to do with their lives. Cause like at one point they, they do come to like a very somber realization that, you know, they're kind of lying to each other about kind of why they're doing, uh, you know, all these bits and why they're trying to work for this film, because that's essentially what they want to do. That's, that's what they love. And there's, there's something very... There's something very sweet about that, the way they, they portray these two as, as just this comedy duo that does nothing more but want to be funny by any means necessary. Even when, you know, like the glory days are behind them of, of great films, even when, you know, their health is threatening them, when, you know, uh, uh, when, when, you, when, you know, like they, their, their health is fading them, when they can't do certain bits as well as used to be before, when, you know, when they fear like, you know, taking a tumble into water or, you know, getting kicked in the knee or they have problems with their heart, uh, they still want to keep doing it. Because that's well, for one, it's all they know how to do, and the other thing, it's the only thing they want to do. I mean, what 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 else are they gonna do? They're they're just stubborn guys who really love being comedians here. Um, and I love the fact that it doesn't shy away from like the darker elements, but it also kind of keeps it. It also kind of realizes that look, you, it's a Lauren Hardy film. You obviously came here for for some laughs. You obviously came here to see them do some bits. And I love the fact that they integrate. A lot of their, you know, their their comedy routines into their everyday life, like you know, when they go to a hotel, like you know, they start fiddling with the <laughs> with the bell. Uh, when they, you know, when they're when they're traveling, they start bickering about you know their their luggage and stuff like that. Um, and even in like the moments when it's when it's fairly sad, like in a scene where um, uh, in a scene where where Hardy is trying to actually like buy uh, buy some jewelry, doesn't have enough money, so he tries to sort of, like pretend. Uh, that he's got uh, the cash, but he always puts on this great smile, and that's what I think is so great about these two actors of Steve Coogan and John C. Riley is that they maintain the sweetness throughout, even when they're supposed to be, you know, very bitter and realizing that you know they they don't have much longer for this world. Um, and there there there's something that that really worked about. Yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, yeah, it's it's not being as hard as it probably could have been. Um, it could have, you know, pushed aside the schmaltz. It could have just been like a, a completely dark drama of what goes on behind the scenes here. But I think having that balance kind of works to be a more satisfying crowd pleaser, if, if that makes any sense. Um, so I guess what I say is like, I, I really, I think it mostly comes down to like Coogan and Riley's performance is that I, I really dug them in these, in these performances. And I feel like the script gives them just a, an equal enough amount of time to be both like the humorous duo and 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 again i gotta mention a lot of the bits they do here are are damn near flawless they they get the character traits down get like they get a lot of these comedy routines so well done that they can do them multiple times because you know they're supposed to do them for for a comedy tour so you get to see uh reprisals of certain scenes and you kind of look forward to them too because then you start noticing little little things that are different or you start noticing just little just small little things about their characters while they're still acting in like you know the the laurel and hardy roles um and i think that that is what really works best for this film i mean yeah it's it's not really hard drama it's you know it's it, you know you compose it as like a dramedy but more than anything i think it's a comedy 
Um, so yeah, if, if you really want to see like a, a feel-good comedy that reveals, it doesn't reveal a whole lot about the history of uh, Laurel and Hardy, but I think just enough where you'd be, where it does like what most films I think should do, which is that it gets you interested enough where you want to learn more, where you want to go and seek out more of their films. Um, in particular, there's one very sweet moment here where they start, uh, I think I think it was like a Stan at one point, I think he starts like fantasizing about um you know what what the robin hood movie would be like and it's and it's very accurately shot with like kind of like the bold technicolor um and the costumes they got on stuff like that it makes you wonder man i'd almost wish that <laughs> i almost wish that since we got coogan and riley why don't we just like actually shoot that robin hood film with them in the roles that that could actually it would actually be a pretty pretty cute tribute i would think so um but I don't know, that, that's a discussion for another film. But this film itself, I think it's sweet enough um, that it does have a, a good, like I said, equal balance of comedy and drama here. Though more comedy than anything um, that I think works to be to be a very pleasing film and to make you appreciate this, this comedic duo even more. Uh, so for Stan and Ollie, four out of five stars.